Welcome to Ryan's Running Reviews in partnership with Roadrunner Sports, and today we're taking a look at the slightly redesigned On Cloud Monster 2. We're also going to compare it to last year's version to see what changed. Let's run with it. Before we get started, I do want to say these shoes were provided to me by Roadrunner Sports. However, no one had a chance to preview this video and this file synopsis is my own. I'd also like to say please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing. Here we go. The On Cloud Monster is one of On's thickest running shoes, second only to the On Cloud Eclipse, which just came out recently. And I will say the Cloud Monster and the Cloud Eclipse are two of On's softest shoes, although they're relatively firm compared to most other running shoes on the market today. But essentially the Cloud Monster is going to be their faster max cushion neutral daily trainer. And this year we do have some significant upgrades even though the shoes look awfully similar. As far as the stats go, the price does go up. Last year it was $170 and this year it's $180. And we do gain a decent amount of weight. The Cloud Monster one was 9.7 ounces, while this year it goes up to 10.4. The Cloud Monster does get a thicker midsole this year, about five more millimeters, bringing us to roughly 35 in the heel and 29 in the forefoot for that same six millimeter heel to toe drop. So what actually changed with the midsole? Well, we have a dual density approach this year. Most of it is gonna be this white foam here, which is Helion, the same kind of material we saw last year with the entire midsole on the Cloud Monster 1. And then if you move towards the forefoot, this is where things become new. You have this orange dense slab of foam that sits above the Helion foam. I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But this is gonna be slightly firmer and give you even more cushioning, especially towards the forefoot, when you compare it to last year. And that's all on top of getting a few more millimeters of that Helion towards the back as well. And because this is an on running shoe, we do have a redesigned full length plastic speedboard, which stiffens up the shoe, helps you notice that rocker geometry, makes things a bit more stable and keeps you rolling forward. Last year, the speedboard was exposed through this cutout and that has been changed this year as they filled in the gap to keep material from getting on the inside, which I do think is a nice thing. However, and this goes, I think, for almost all on running shoes, these shoes are noisy, especially if you wear these in wet weather or the rain, they will squeak a lot. So if you need a quiet sneaker, uh, I don't think these are gonna be your best bet. One other small thing I wanna point out, yes, you do have more foam under the forefoot, but when you line these two shoes up, you'll also notice that the Cloud Monster 2 is slightly wider towards the forefoot as well. The heel is about the same. So you do have a bit more ground contact as you get towards the front. And they also added some individual rubber pieces in between these Cloud Tech units, which did not exist on the Cloud Monster 1. Otherwise, the rubber traction patterns are about the same. And after trying these two shoes, I would not consider this a minor upgrade. This feels noticeably different compared to what we saw last year. If we start with the heel, it feels much softer and squishier. And then we get to the forefoot, this orange piece of foam. Again, I'm not sure what On is calling it. It just feels very dense. It's not a super soft or springy experience. It feels like you have a lot of cushion underfoot, but there's not a lot of compression and pop. Where last year you had just pure Helion, which feels a bit thin, especially when you compare it to the Cloud Monster 2. The other minor thing is with the speed board, I felt like I was able to feel it directly underneath my foot where that sensation has not appeared here for me on the second edition. And because we can, we'll bring in the Cloud Eclipse. This is On's thickest shoe. It's actually slightly lighter compared to the Cloud Monster 2, which I did find to be quite interesting. Now, some of the key differences are we have different midsole technology. This is Cloud Tech Phase versus the Cloud Tech units on the Cloud Monster. All that means is this has a slightly softer feel to it, a little bit more compression. And we also have the speed board on the center bottom of the shoe instead of directly inside the midsole. Now, what does this mean? Well, this has a, a slightly stiffer platform to it and a much more noticeable rocker geometry. It's just a more rigid shoe overall. It does feel more consistent from heel to toe as it's all Helion foam, where like we talked about before, you have that kind of orange slab of more dense and firmer material towards the forefoot. I do like the Cloud Eclipse for the slower runs. It's a little bit more pleasant just because of, its, because of how soft it is. And for some reason, even though it's a slightly lighter shoe, it feels much more bottom heavy compared to the Cloud Monster 2. So this, I think, in my, at least in my opinion, Cloud Eclipse better for those longer slow runs. And if you need to pick up the pace but need some more cushion, that's kind of where the Cloud Monster 2 comes in. So I hope that makes sense. However, if we compare it to the Cloud Monster 1, this is noticeably lighter and more nimble as it doesn't have as much bulk to the midsole. You also have a more consistent feel as well, just because it's all Helion foam from heel to toe. 
The best way I can describe the feeling or sensation of the Cloud Monster 2 is, picture the Cloud Monster 1, make the heel a little bit softer, and then just picture a giant slab of dense foam directly underneath your forefoot on top of those Cloud Tech units, and then make the shoe a little bit heavier, and that's essentially what this feels like. Again, this orange foam isn't super soft or springy, it's just rather dense, good for shock absorption, but not a whole lot of energy return. I think that's a great way to describe how this new upgrade feels. Moving to the upper, we have a very similar experience to what we saw last year. It does fit true to size, but I will say if I had to guess, this feels like it has a little bit more volume to it. And it is rather accommodating, especially through the toe box and midfoot. So if you have a higher volume foot or like having some more room, I think you'll like the Cloud Monster 2's upper. If we move towards the back of the shoe, really tall heel counter, just like last year. However, there's more padding. The tongue is paper thin, just like last year as well. And it's connected to that internal fabric liner, which sits below the outer layer of engineered mesh. And I thought the breathability here was solid. My only kind of major complaints are you do have to pull the laces rather tight together to get a secure lockdown. And I do like to have a tongue with a little bit more padding on a max cushion daily trainer, a little bit of lace pressure. Uh, but other than that, I thought the fit overall comfort and breathability was solid. So let me know down in the comments what you think of on switching up the Cloud Monster. This is their most popular shoe, so I'm kind of curious why they decided to make such a drastic change. I would love to hear from you. Well, I'm Ryan from Ryan's Running Reviews, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.